when it comes to modding handhelds, Nintendo's Game Boy line of consoles typically get most of the attention. Now, that seems to be changing, in large part thanks to the efforts of companies like Retro 6. They have recently been developing some very interesting products for the Sega Game Gear, and I couldn't be more excited. With several awesome products in the pipeline, I'll be taking a look first at their USB-C mod, which promises to add some modernization and versatility to Sega's beloved handheld. Let's get right into it. How's it going? My name is Tito and welcome to another episode of Retro Renew. Today we're going to add USB-C capability to the Sega Game Gear. This is the Clean Power module. It was developed by the awesome folks over at Retro 6 in the United Kingdom. The Clean Power module is a complete replacement and drop-in solution for the Game Gear's power board. As you may or may not know, there are several single points of failure on the Game Gear's power PCB. Issues can range from leaky electrolytic capacitors, to bad transistors, or issues related to the power board's main IC. All in all, a lot of the problems that our aging Game Gear consoles can suffer from stem from this original discrete power board. Now, as I mentioned previously, this is a drop-in solution. There is no soldering or modifying required. It is a direct swap for the original power PCB, which is absolutely fantastic and makes this an easy mod that I am confident anyone can perform themselves. The only tool you'll need is your trusty screwdriver set, more specifically a Phillips and 4.5mm game bit. Now this kit is compatible with every revision of the Sega Game Gear, so you don't need to worry about compatibility issues. The kit comes in a nice plastic container, which includes the Clean Power module itself, as well as a 3D printed support bracket to cover the area surrounding the USB-C connector which was previously filled by the original 9 volt DC power port. Now be sure to stay tuned all the way to the end of the video to learn about the pros and cons of this fantastic upgrade. Lastly, since this kit seems to be a fairly simple installation, I thought it'd be fun to time myself to see how quickly I can complete it. All right, without any further ado, let's get started.
Alright, well that took a little longer than expected, but it was still a fairly simple and straightforward job nonetheless. I'm really happy with how this turned out. The fit and finish is so seamless, it almost looks factory. Okay, let's go over the pros and cons. First and foremost, this is a very easy installation. Retro 6 really did a fantastic job at making this as simple as possible, and this is a great mod for anyone looking to get into modifying retro consoles. The next pro is versatility. Much like the original power board, you can run the unit without any batteries. The barrel plug on the original Game Gear Power PCB, however, required you to source either a proprietary AC adapter or power packs designed specifically for the Game Gear. Now, with USB-C, this unit can be powered with a simple and, more importantly, compact cell phone charger or power bank, so long as it can provide 1.5 amps of power. Speaking of compact cell phone chargers, you now don't need to worry about handling the very bulky wall wart to power the unit. And I can even see a scenario where you can perhaps attach a power bank to the rear of the console to keep the game gear somewhat portable. Of course, I'm sure you can come up with a better setup than this. Also, according to the Retro 6 website, this power board ramps up the power rails quicker, which provides cleaner power to the game gear unit. And lastly, the 3D printed cover gives this mod a very polished look, and I'm glad that they thought of this detail. The fit and finish is absolutely fantastic. As for the cons, I really couldn't think of any. This kit overall provides an elegant solution to powering the Game Gear. The one thing I wish this kit did was perhaps charge my Onaloop Nickel Metal Hydride batteries. That would have been awesome. To that end, it seems that Retro 6 is working on a battery solution for the Game Gear, which is supposed to be released sometime next year, so I can't wait to get my hands on that. Well guys, we're finally seeing some amazing mods come out for the Sega Game Gear. I'll be doing my best to showcase each of these amazing products as they become available. The Sega Game Gear was the second console that I ever owned, and because of that, it's one of my favorites. I have some of my fondest memories with the Game Gear, and I'm absolutely thrilled it's finally getting the attention and love it deserves. So there you have it, the USB-C mod for the Sega Game Gear. What do you guys think? Do the pros outweigh the cons? Is this something that you plan on doing to your Sega Game Gear? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Macho Nacho Productions. I release content every Thursday, so be sure to turn on notifications. And as always, we'll see you next time.